We got JT Daniels. Ah, we got JT Daniels. Ah. Oh, what's up, Mountaineer Nation? Yes, I'm excited. We got our guy. We got our QB1 for 2022. Let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome to another edition of Coos's Corner. Come in, make yourself at home. Let me pour you out another shot of top shelf college sports content today. Another West Virginia football video. As you can tell, I'm riding high right now. The news just came, just broke a couple of hours ago from the time I recorded this video that JT Daniels has made the decision to come. And play for my West Virginia Mountaineers, baby. I am so excited. This is a huge, huge move. A huge get for West Virginia. The one big question mark going into this season was our quarterback position. We had a lot of young guys there with little to no experience. We weren't sure what that position was going going to look like. Now we have a better idea. We have an, an experienced, very talented young man coming in who could who could literally Literally, guys, and I, I don't think I'm overstating this. If he plays up to his potential, we could literally save Neil Brown's job. That's how that's how big of a deal this is. JT Daniels comes in, obviously, after spending a couple last couple seasons at Georgia, was a starting quarterback going into the 2021 season, got injured for the, like the third time in his career, gave the starting job up to Stetson Bennett, and who obviously never looked back. But JT Daniels was on that roster. He is a national champion. He, he knows what it takes to be a national championship team. I'm sure this guy's going to be extremely, extremely hungry to win football games. And I'm sure he's going to come in ready to get ready to roll. He's already played for Graham Harrell at USC, so he knows the air raid system. As a matter of fact, in the article uh, Pete Thamel from ESPN wrote, that was one of the factors. Some of the factors that helped him make the decision, number one, like I said, he knows the air raid offense. He played under it for a season under under Harrell. Obviously, he spent most of that season injured, but he does know the system. He was still in meetings and, and, and learning the playbook and all that. So there won't be much of a learning curve, if any, for him. So he'll be able to hit the ground running from day one. So missing spring ball shouldn't affect him at all, I wouldn't think. One of the other factors, he likes. He says West Virginia has a really, really, really good team. He used the word really three times in his statement. Keep in mind, this guy just played for the national championship. He played for the national champion, Georgia Bulldogs. He knows what talent looks like, and he thinks West Virginia has it. One of the factors is the starting offensive line coming back. They have over 100 games between them. He liked that. He was impressed with Coach Neil Brown and how he runs the program, and obviously the familiarity with Harrell played a factor as well. Now, Here's one thing that I was able to learn today before filming this video. I was listening to the Ear Sports YouTube channel, Mountaineer Comp, which is part of the – Mountaineer Confidential with Mike Kazaza and Chris Anderson, the 24-7 sports guys that cover West Virginia. One of their 24-7 sports colleagues was able to interview J.T. Daniels' dad. And J.T. Daniels' dad laid it all out for them as to why he picked West Virginia. One of the quotes he gave them, when they were on their visit to Morgantown, they were able to sit down with somebody on West Virginia staff. They said it was an analytics guy. I don't know who that is, but he laid out for them how important JT Daniels would be to the West Virginia team. And he told them that he could be the difference between them winning six games and them winning ten games. Guys, I'm telling you, that's how big this is. And for the fact, the fact JT Daniels embraces that, and that's one of the things he liked about coming to West Virginia, shows me this guy's a gamer. He's got what it takes. He's got the mentality to be a QB1 at the Power 5 level. And he wants the challenge of being the guy. Now, this is all potentially. I know, I know, um, look, I know he hasn't played a snap force yet, so I know I might be overly excited here. But he has the potential, guys, to be the best quarterback in the Big 12 in 2022. And when you take throw in the fact we've got all of our offensive linemen back, we've got what I think is a really talented running back room, we've got Bryce Ford Wheaton back at wide receiver. We've got Caden Pray, the Rivera Talent Receiver, Sam James. We've got experience and talent at that position. We've got all of our start, all of our D line on the two deep. We'll have game experience. 
And we've got Dante Steele's and veteran leadership up front. We've got Lee Koba, who's supposed to be extremely talented at the linebacker spot now playing that Mike position. There is still some question marks at defensive back, but according to the coaching staff, we've got some really, really talented guys back there now with a lot of speed and a lot of length. And, and, and to be honest, what helps negate a weak secondary is a really good front seven. And I think West Virginia will be really good up front. So I think that will help negate some of the inexperience we might have in the defensive secondary. But, guys, I'm telling you, I think top to bottom this team is ready. I know there's been a lot of negativity around the team with the transfer portal and all that, but I'm telling you guys, to me, this trumps it all because this is quarterback position. This is the most important position, not only in football, but maybe in all of sports, guys. You, you don't have a, if you don't have a good quarterback, it's hard to win at that level, at any level. So this is as big to me as when we got Will Greer from Florida and we were going into that 2017 season with him at the helm to play Virginia Tech to open the season. We're going into 2022 with JT Daniels at the helm to play Pitt, guys. This has the same feel for me. It's exciting. It's fun to be a Mountaineer today. That's why I broke out the coonskin cap. It's a great day to be a Mountaineer. I'm, I'm happy for this get. I think it's a big get. To me, it shows me, number one, that hiring Graham Harrell was the right move for Neil Brown. Two, it shows me that all is not broken in Morgantown, that we do have a good staff. Neil Brown is a good coach, and guys do want to play for him. So all – Hopefully all the negativity will, will dissipate for at least one day. I'm sure there's going to be some some naysayers out there. And look, guys, I know he hasn't played a snap yet. I get it. I get that. But let hey, humor me that humor me just this once. Let me have this positive moment. Let me be excited. Don't rain on my parade. Okay. <laughs> let me have my moment. Hope I wasn't over the top with my excitement, but I can't help it. This is a huge huge day for Mountaineer fans, and I literally think, guys. Big 12, look out, because I think now this this makes West Virginia a contender for the Big 12 title. I'm telling you, this that's how important this is. Because I think that's the only position that we – one of the only positions on the field that we had a question mark at, and it's the most important position in that question mark. If he can stay healthy, that's that question mark has now been answered. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this pickup of JT Daniels. If you're a Georgia fan, let me know what you think about us getting him. Do you think this is a good get for us? Do you think he can be successful here? Guys, hey, look, if you disagree with me and you don't like this, let me know in the comment section. I welcome all opinions and will respect all opinions here. I ask that you please, please check out the earsgear.com link in the description box, guys. Check out this awesome shirt he just designed. It's, it's, it's really cool. I'm thinking of getting one myself. You can get that shirt by using this link, and if you use the promo code COOS, C-O-U-Z in all caps. You'll get 20% off your order. He has a lot of other shirts to choose from as well. So go check it out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, Q Country Roads.